What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Therapy where I chase Lee talk to you as the audience as my therapist about a movie I've seen and let's just have a conversation about it. And maybe if I'm on the fence about a movie, maybe I can come to a conclusion at the end of it whether I liked it or not. Who knows what's going to happen? I just want to talk about it with you guys. And the movie I want to talk about is Ambulance. Now this one comes to us from Universal Pictures. It's in theaters this Friday, April 8th. If you choose to watch this regardless of what I'm about to say. And it's directed by the one and only Michael Bay. What is this movie about? Two robbers steal an ambulance after their heist goes awry, and the two robbers are played by Jake Gyllenhaal, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, and there's an EMT on this ambulance um, played by Isaac Gonzalez. So these are our three characters at play, and the three actors uh, as well. And so going into this, I know what to expect from Michael Bay at this point in my life. I expect insanity, and you know sometimes I embrace it, and sometimes I'm very resistant. Uh, you know, later on in the, the Transformers films, for instance, I just was getting very tired by them and it was just, they seemed lazily, lazily put together each with each installment and just, it kept getting worse in my opinion. Cause at least with like the first three, there was some type of enjoyment in them. If, you know, if some of the stuff was stupid, in it, it Michael Bay, like I said, it just, it, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So but I was very much looking forward to this because Jake Gyllenhaal being tapped to be in a Michael Bay movie and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, sign me up. So I saw, I remember seeing the trailer and I I enjoyed it. I was just like, yeah, this looks like Michael, Michael Bay cinematography, Michael Bay action. And he has his uh, unique stamp on movies and you got to respect that as a filmmaker. So I saw the movie. And this is a damn fun time. This is such a fun movie. Um, from start to finish, it is a nonstop thrill ride. Um, it does not let up. Even with some of the quieter moments, it you know it has time for you to breathe as an audience and um, you know just kind of like catch your breath a little bit, and then it just like picks back up again. But it is nonstop. It's insane. Uh, the action is well choreographed. The cinematography is outrageous with the drone. <laughs> Michael Bay just really loves playing with that thing. And then the the story was also uh, entertaining, even though it was a, a, a little bit more, you know, stripped down. It's, it's not like super complex. And I like the characters. Uh, I think Michael Bay really crafted a just, just a very like barn burner type of film where, like I said, it's not like the most... Uh, Oscar worthy screenplay. It's not, you know, like characters that are super fleshed out, but it, it is enough to carry the plot from point A to point B. Cause this is not like a, a like a, a point A to point Z situation. This is a very straightforward A to B. The heist goes wrong. They have to escape. Cops are chasing them. That's it. But the intensity and the suspense and just the, the, really just tense scenes I found from Michael Bay to be quite extraordinary. Like I was gripping the uh, uh, armrest on my seat. Like I, I was really engaged with this film and it just would not let up. And so that two hours and 16 minutes kind of flew by for me. So I think crafting like a, a straight up thriller with really intense moments, especially with the ambulance and uh, them trying to perform operations, <laughs> It was it was amazing to really just kind of keep up that energy and keep up that that rhythm and that intensity for that long without feeling like too tired or like too dragged out. It's a really impressive feat, and I had a blast watching it. So, hats off to Michael Bay on a directing uh, standpoint. He really crafted just a, a fun movie to add to his filmography. I mentioned the cinematography earlier. It, it once again has the Michael Bay like tropes, you know, he likes to shoot a lot from the ground, he just likes to shoot up, so it makes the characters look bigger than they are, you know, uh, the heroes of the film. But uh, there's a lot of drone shots in this film that were crazy to see, like in an actual full-length feature film distributed by a very powerful company, like typically cinematography does not have this many drone shots in films like this, but I kind of enjoyed it because it's, it's always moving. There's always like a kinetic energy to the cinematography, which coincides with the story, which coincides with the editing and Bay's direction of the film. 
the cinematography matches that. It matches the intensity of the story. So there's like there's shots that are like moving up buildings and like coming kind uh, going over them and coming down and like following the cars like it was really impressive stuff. And like I said, it, it's almost like a character within itself and it really plays into the uh, suspense of the film. So I love the cinematography in this. It's it's inventive. It's um, it's very modern. And Michael Bay loves drones now. So, hey, if you want to continue to use drones in your films, uh, I will not uh, oppose. Um, as far as the acting goes, I loved everyone. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is one of the few actors, in my opinion, that can go zero to 100 real damn quick. And he, in this film, really taps into over-the-top, like, psycho. Um, he is absolutely terrifying. He is unhinged. But that's what makes him kind of dangerous in this film, and that's what makes him a, an actual threat with, like, the cops and the FBI that are trying to ch chase him, is because he has, no, he has no morals. He has no understanding of anything. He just gets what he wants, but he does it at such extreme costs that he's just completely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But he's the type of actor to do that. And he... he can deliver lines in a way to where they they sound funny and then some lines you know seem really like serious and like you, you take them serious and everything so he can balance both um he has a couple lines that made me laugh but he had a, a couple uh moments where it was just absolutely terrifying so a uh, great performance from him uh yeah yeah abdul the ii i always love this guy and so him being the robber with the conscience or like the heart was really nice because you need that like that um opposite effect from jake joan hall's just really gun-ho performance where he's just in your face 24 7 uh yaya has the you know he has the the sensitive capabilities where like yeah he we understand why he's doing it but like he's not there to like kill or he just wants to get the job done and go home to his family but he has a conscience throughout the entire thing and you know, uh, uh, his performance was really nice too. Cause there was a couple moments like towards the end when the climax was just getting like super, uh, swelled up where he was just not taking it anymore. And you're like, yeah, I, I would be this angry too, if I was in this situation. So I thought his performance was really nice. And Isaac Gonzalez, I, I've, uh, liked her since, um, was she in, let me check it real quick. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this in real time because I forgot to do research. My bad. Uh, yeah, I remember, uh, when I, uh, first noticed her in Baby Driver, uh, and kind of following her career and everything, uh, I, I've really enjoyed her just in, in movies in general, and so this is, uh, no exception, uh, definitely, uh, just a, uh, uh, power performance from her, because she has to kind of balance the crazy of Jake and, uh, kind of work with, uh, Yaya's character, and so she doesn't really know what to do. So she's just kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place. And so uh, I, I really liked uh, her performance. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what else more to say about it. I really enjoyed this one. If you were looking for a ridiculous action film, over the top, uh, crazy, insane, intense, Michael Bay, then this is it. But I will say this on, on an honest note. This is one of his better films in years. Hands down. Like I would, I would choose to watch this any day of the week versus um, uh, the last few Transformers films. I also heard like Six Underground on Netflix was not that good. I have not seen it, so I can't really compare. But I feel like this one is better than most of the things he's done in recent years. So take that for what you will. But yes, uh, thank you for joining me on my session uh, today. Uh, I, I think I was pretty, pretty concise with this one. I didn't really have any... Uh, mixed feelings about it. I, I know what type of film this is. I thought it delivered it in spades. And, uh, you know, one criticism I have, and this has been a criticism with most Michael Bay films, some of the cinematography that is uh, handheld can get a tad too shaky. That's about it. And some of the moments uh, that are edited together, some shots are like two seconds or less. Do you really need to cut that many times in between probably not but um those are just minor complaints i overall uh for the most part had fun so yes thank you for joining me on, joining me on my session today uh for movie therapy but let me know down below what you thought of ambulance and that will do it for this session guys thank you for joining me on today's movie therapy and uh, i'll see you guys for the next one goodbye